this video when it was a little lighter but my battery died so now I'm doing it again. So I wanted to tell you that I used to have a six acre property which God told me to sell a few years ago so I'd have more money to travel around the world in ministry as a Christian missionary and prophet. So but before I sold it this was about Seven years ago when I was living there, I wanted to tell you what happened. My property, six, you know, that was six acres, um, it had two hills on each side and there was a dirt road. I would park further up the dirt road and then walk down to my house, which was lower. So there are two hills on this on each side of my house and there was a ravine in the middle and you know I'd have a seasonal stream there whenever it would rain I'd have a stream and there would be boulders and there would be little waterfalls and everything which was cool but anyway so this particular night it was about midnight when I got home because I think that night I went country western dancing so I was walking down the hill in my cowboy boots anyway so right before I got to my house I had a very vivid vision of a huge wall of water coming through the ravine the canyon right where I lived and I heard an audible voice say, go to higher ground. And I was like, what on earth is going on? That's never happened to me before, you know? So I was like thinking, what is this all about? And what just happened? And anyway, so I was just thinking, who is this saying this to me? And what am I supposed to do? Anyway, but then I was opening my door and I heard the voice again. Well, I had the vision first. I had the vision of the wall of water coming through the ravine. It was a lot of water. I mean, you know, just a huge wall of water in, in the ravine and I heard this voice again say go to higher ground and so I was just like thinking about this whole thing that was going on and it was really late and I was really tired and sleepy and I didn't listen to the voice it was an angel spoke to me twice and I didn't listen so then I got in bed and I always read my Bible in bed before I went to sleep so I used a red flashlight to read the 